Let's look at how we can do multiple linear regression on Excel now. Multiple regression is when we have several variables that we can use to predict what we're interested in. For example, here we have a score for a number of engineers that work for our company, and we have their test scores for two tests, cognitive ability and conscientiousness, and here we've got their performance ratings. And uh, I've sorted them by, uh, by cognitive ability here. And we want to come up with an equation that will allow us to use both of these test scores to pr uh, predict the performance so that we can determine who, how to use these tests to make a, a prediction when we hire so that we can hire the best uh, performers. So the way that we're going to do this is I've got it in, in table form. I'm just going to click in the table here. I'm going to use the, I'm going to go to data, data analysis. And if you don't have the data analysis tool pack uh, installed, be sure to install it so that you have this button here. You can see another video. I'm going to click on that. And we are going to look for regression. Now we did simple regression with the scatter plot. We could have done it with the regression here, but uh, I'm, the scatter plot was so simple that we did it that way. This one, now we've got two variables. We're going to use uh, the regression formula. Now, the first thing it asks for is the y. That's what we're trying to predict. So that is this column, D1, and I'm going to do shift down arrow to get the rest of them. And then the input, the x range. Now this, we choose all of our x variables. We happen to have two, cognitive ability and conscientiousness. So I select the two columns, and then I go all the way down and choose all of them. And I could have, if we had eight of them, I could have chosen eight. And I've got labels here. Um, we don't need anything else. Now the output range, let's put it next to it. Now notice when I clicked on output range, the cursor went up to the input, so I need to click in the output range. And I'll put it right here at F2. And that's all we need here. And I press OK. And we get tons of numbers. Ooh, how do we make sense out of this? The first thing we do is reduce the number of decimal points by going to Home, Number, and then choose Number Format with only two decimal points. Now let's make these columns wide enough so that we can read them. Now it turns out the a lot of these other things we haven't looked at yet, so we don't really need them yet. Let's just look at the basic things that we need. First of all, we need the R square, or R squared, either one. And that was tells how much of performance, what percentage of performance is predicted by these two variables. Now you re might might remember that when we use only cognitive ability, the R squared was 73%. Now it's gone up to 91%. This is a lot better predictor of performance. And we have the coefficients and the intercepts for our two variables. So we need those. And now what does this actually mean? OK, the we're going to, uh, our what this means is that we're going to have the equation Let's, let's define what our variables are. Let's put our variables over here. I'm going to put single quotation marks so that Excel reads this as a text. Y equals performance. And then we have X1. I'm going to just type big X1 like that. Equals, what was our first variable over here? It was cognitive ability. Now, what I can do to make the subscript, I can go up to the line there, highlight it, go into font, make it smaller, and type, or put, make that little, click that down arrow to get more commands, click subscript, and press OK. And that makes X1. Now I can do single quotation mark X2 equals uh, conscientiousness, conscientious. Ness. And once again, highlight the two, go to font, change the 
to subscript, do OK. OK, so now we've got our variables defined. So what these coefficients mean here is that we have the equation. Our equation is y equals, first of all, it's going to be 0 0.05 times x1, because that's our, the coefficient of our first variable, space plus 0.12x2, our conscientious variable, space minus 5.25, because uh, the, the intercept, the number we add on the end is negative minus 5.2. So we got these two coefficients are here. Cognitive ability is x1. Uh, conscientiousness is x2. I can go up to the equation here and make these subscripts. Subscript, OK. And now I can press Enter, and we've got our equation predicting um, what, uh, um, uh, what performance will be from the two uh, variables. We also have r squared, so I can do r, r2 equals 0.91, and then I can make 2 into a superscript. Highlight the two, go to font, choose superscript, press OK. And we've got our linear regression equation to predict uh, uh, the engineer's performance. And this equation produce, uh, predicts 91% of the variation in the performance uh, uh, variable. So we've used the multiple, reg we've done multiple regression using the regression command in the data analysis tool.